So how is the listener? The listener's good. It's been a great time. It's been uh, it's been a, a, a long process. You know, we're, we're into episode 10 out of 13 now, and it's been a blast. You know, we just got Colin Fiore and Gordon Pinson added to the cast, which is really cool. And um, you know, shooting downtown Toronto in the middle of the... In the middle of December, it's great. No, I mean the whole the whole run has been fantastic. Just shooting, shooting in Toronto and having the show be set in Toronto is one of the, yeah. the, the coolest parts of being on the show. Too. You know, so many times Toronto is L.A. or New York or Chicago or Seattle or Portland or whatever, and Boston. He's from Boston, but uh, it's nice for it to be Toronto. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think that's uh, a progression now? Finally, that Toronto is finally being able to play itself. That it looks like it. I we're think growing up with the with the uh, you know with with Flashpoint on the show both being set in Toronto and I think that's sort of a starting trend of a bunch of new shows here. Just, just <laughs> 202 very busy office. Um, you know, it looks like a lot of a lot of shows are gonna be set here now and, uh, and hey why not? It's a good city. Good size. Tell me about uh, your character. What are you talking about my character? Oz Oz Bay is uh, a young Turkish Canadian <laughs> like myself. <laughs> who is uh, the partner of, uh, of Toby Logan, who plays, a, they're both paramedics. They uh, came up through the academy together in their, you know, in their first year as paramedics. And um, Oz is a pretty pretty good friend of Toby, and he doesn't, you know, when he doesn't know about his powers, he's helping him out, and then when he finds out, he sort of becomes his partner, sort of as wants him. Could we hold the work, please? Yeah. He, uh, he's a, he's a, Pretty impulsive guy, I think. He doesn't really. Act. He's he's also like way better looking than me, which is weird to play because it's hard to play more attractive than you are. But he definitely thinks he's he's better looking than he is, which allows him to like really have a lot of confidence with women. And also, I think being a paramedic, you have to really have a certain kind of balls to do your job well and you know, trust your instincts. Whereas I'm constantly doubting every choice I make as a, in the world, except you know when I'm playing other people. So I, can, I can I can portray other confident people, but myself is. Fair enough. What do you do? do you well, I think I think the way the script is, that Oz is uh, just he just sort of leaps into anything, and he's very you know he's a good friend of Toby, and uh, he doesn't overthink things, you know, and then uh, and he sort of takes the plunge when he needs to, and whether it's you know it's trusting your partner as a medic, and sometimes we get into stuff we're not supposed to that may be outside the law, but it's uh, it's always you know it's based on trust and, and faith in, in Toby's power. And um, and I think that it's just a matter of just leaping into action. You know, if you look at paramedics, like I, we, we we did some training with paramedics, right? And the thing I learned the most about them was just, outside, you know, outside of the technical stuff, just their demeanor is fascinating because you have to think about what medics do for a living. They see some of the probably the worst things anybody sees on the job, and they have to be able to compartmentalize it and look at it like it's a job, as opposed mm. to seeing someone with you know for their brain exposed or whatever it might be. It's nice. I really brought the, the energy down on that one. The made it really serious there. So I think that the natural inclination for most people is when they see danger to run away from it. So mm. medics have to go towards it. So that's definitely a shift, you know, yeah. in day-to-day -day life. So I think that, that's, that alone is sort of differentiates someone who works in healthcare in this way and from civilians. So now, what do you think of the fact that uh, there is a lot of cop stuff out there how is the listener going to differentiate itself from well, the that? Well, there's not a cop show per se, which is great. I think there's well, a lot of Well, that's true. I'm sorry. I shouldn't there say There are a lot of cop shows out there. Not that they're bad, you know, it's no. great. But, uh, yeah, CSI Hamilton, I wasn't a big fan of, but uh, I could do better than that. Not that there aren't a lot of cop shows out there, but I think uh, <laughs> once they put uh, CSI into like, in like, in like Schenectady, then you got, you know, it's like that. Moose Jaw, come Moose on. Jack. Well, I was trying to go American, you know, the show's on NBC. It's, I got to rep the uh, States. But yes, yeah, CSI Moose Jaw. I actually made a joke about CSI New Brunswick in a movie <laughs> they shot like six years ago. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't my line. I mean, I didn't write the line. Hey, there was a guy, an axe murderer in New Brunswick. I mean, not long ago, what, too. on the bus? Uh, Is that the guy on uh, the bus? No, not on the bus. <laughs> oh, okay. That was Alberta guy. or, yeah. It's dangerous out there. It is. Yes. No disrespect intended on this. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so gone off the rails. So, I mean, you asked me about cop shows. There are a lot of cop shows out there, but this, the list I is not a say, cop yeah. show. Per se. Yeah. And I mean, in terms of being different, I think what's great is that this has sort of paramedic procedural stuff. And it has, it's set in a hospital, there's a lot of hospital drama. Um, and the relationship between both Dr. Foss and Olivia Foss and Toby, they're exes, so there's a lot of tension there. Um, and. Then there's the police procedural stuff, and then there's this also this sort of overarching you know, sort of hero intrigue business. So there's a lot of different 
elements that I think stand out. And some shows will focus more on the police procedure stuff, and some shows will do more in the hospital, and some shows will just be out in the street with people right. as, you know, off the job trying to save lives and help people. So there's all kinds of stuff. Cool. And what's the best part so far? The best part? Well, I did mention that we had a pasta bar today. Absolutely. They did train me to drive an ambulance, which is pretty, really? pretty awesome. But uh, I would say, I mean, it'd be nicer if I ran into more ex-girlfriends. So I could be like, you're in Toronto, right? So they could be I'd be like, oh, I can't. Sorry, you're, oh, you're, you, look, you look great. Yeah, but I got to go back and shoot this TV series that I'm the lead in. Yeah. I mean, a lead. Not the lead, but I got to go. But it looked, you know, the paramedic uniform. I clean up pretty good. Nice. Yeah, but, uh, you know, yeah, getting to getting drive an ambulance is pretty cool, actually. They took me out to uh, Dixie, Dixie Mall, drove around in the parking lot. And, uh, Play with the siren. That's the only place they'd let you, is that it? Well, when I was starting, it was better for there not to be any real cars or people around. True. It's a big rig, that thing. It'd be a bad thing if Nate Realtz was in an accident. Yeah. Well, just, I mean, there's certain things I've done on the show that I've never done in my career so far. Like, even, right. you know, uh, doing stuff with the camera car, the car that tows you while you're fake driving. I always wonder how they did that. I don't know. I know. So, once, once I smoke some fake cigarettes and get fake shot, then I'll know everything you need to know. That people, you know, behind the scenes stuff. It's we can exciting. only hope you get fake shot fake this shot season. Fake shot and I smoke a fake cigarette. I'll cross my fingers for you. Great. I'd love to. love to do like a <laughs> scene like that, yeah. Awesome. Is that good? Yeah, that's awesome. Is there anything else you'd like? Anything um, else you can tell me before I... I I'm, I'm, I'm contractually obligated not to tell you when I think the show's coming out, because we don't know. <laughs> No, we'll take a guess. We'll take a dart. No, but it will be out in, in, uh, in 2009, which is next year. Excellent. By the uh, time this is aired, this will be 2009. It will be out this year. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the uh, Raptors probably just won uh, play their first round of the playoffs, and they're going to the second round. And uh, go Raptors, I guess. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, Thank you very much.